I really hate to make negative videos. And I hate the fact that I have to do it again. Like, this morning, or yesterday morning, because right now it's 12, 13 in the morning, I was talking about, I was ranting about uh, NASCAR fans ruining Brandon Jones's first career win the moment at Talladega after they were chanting, fuck Joe Biden, when they're acting like they're in a political rally, but they're not, they're at a NASCAR race. Again, I know it's Alabama, but it's fucking stupid. Also, they're fucking hypocritical. I thought that was the end of it, but nope. It gets worse. It gets even, even, even worse. And I'm honestly fucking livid about this. Like, I can't yell or scream anything. I'm, I can't yell or scream because my parents are sleeping. My sister's sleeping because she's got school. I have a bit of a headache. But I'm livid. I am so lividly mad. Okay. So let's go back to Tyler, shall we? When Brandon Brown won the race, right? So Kelly Stavis was trying to interview Brandon Brown um, during the start finish line post race thing. And while she was trying to interview Brandon Brown, while well, Brandon Brown was trying to get interviewed, of course, like the stupid fan base. Is chanting the fuck Joe Biden stuff. And then Stavist was trying to make it sound like that. She was trying to say, let's go Brandon. What's wrong with that? She was doing her job. There was stupidity going on at the grandstands after he won. We were supposed to celebrate Brandon Brown's win. But no, it is overshadowed by the NASCAR fan base at the stands yet again. And they're, they, they overshadow, they ruined Brandon Brown's victory. Not only that, those same people, a, and also the, the, the Republicans, the conservatives, the right wings, all, those stupid clowns. They are acting like that Kelly Stavis is some part of media conspiracy. And also accusing her of like censorship. Try, like everyone's acting like she was trying to silence them or whatever. And if that doesn't pisses you off, because she was trying to do her job, interviewing Brandon Brown, trying to, make, trying to make a bad situation, not as shitty. All she did was try to do her job, interviewing the race winner. And she tried to make a bad situation, not as bad. That's all she did. She didn't, like... She didn't want to deal with the, the stupid fan base. Brandon, I'm sure Brandon Brown didn't even want to deal with it. Not even the cameraman. They didn't want to deal with that. They tried to make a bad situation not as bad. They tried to make it about Brandon Brown because he won his first career win. He won his first career race, Xfinity race. And it's, an, it's, an, and it's a, another underdog win. They tried to make it about Brandon Brown during the coverage. They tried to. That's all they were trying to do. Oh, but because it's NBC, a.k.a. NBC Sports Network, those clowns are acting like they're trying to censor them because insert political bullshit here. And I'm fucking livid about this because... Remember when I said about, like, like those stupid... Fans are, like, hypocritical when it comes to, like, oh, politics and NASCAR and whatnot. It's funny how... It, and this is another a ruse for thee, but not for me. Because if it's about them or what their political beliefs, they don't have a problem with it. I don't know. And the fact that Kelly Stappes is getting attacked... Because she was doing her job of trying to make a situation... A bad, stupid situation... And try to make it about Brennan Brown. It's stupid. It's so horrible. And guess what? Once again, this is an embarrassment to NASCAR. This is embarrassing NASCAR. And it's not NASCAR's fault. It is the fan base's fault. They're the ones that are making NASCAR look worse. Look bad yet again. 
You know the NASCAR stereotypes that they had to deal with, that NASCAR had to deal with for decades, decades. They try to get rid of the, the stereotypical stuff last year. Guess what? It's back. It's back. You know why they're. You know why people are saying fuck Joe Biden. Yeah, I get that he's a bad president, but this is not a political rally. I don't care about the political beliefs. I don't care whose side you on. Regardless, both sides are terrible. Republicans suck. Democrats suck. Conservatives are terrible. Liberals are stupid. And in the fact that Kelly Stavis is being accused. And act like, oh, they're a bunch of liberal reporters. This isn't CNN. This is NBC Sports. This is NBC Sports Network. Let me remind you that Kelly Stavis is a sports reporter. A motorsports reporter. What is her job? To interview drivers and do her job and report and all that stuff. What was she trying to do? Not only try to interview Brandon Brown, but try to make... An embarrassing situation, less embarrassing. And then what happens? The the rights, the conservatives, the Republicans, the shitty NASCAR fans are acting like they're being censored by her after she was trying to say, like, let's go, Brandon. Number one, there's nothing wrong with her trying to say, like, let's go, Brandon, because, again, I know I'm repeating myself, but they're trying to make a... They're trying to have the, the sweet moment of Brandon Brown winning the race. But no, apparently, oh, that's just a conspiracy. That is just censorship. Oh, they're trying to protect Sleepy Joe and all that. So just so because she was trying to do her job, apparently that's bad. This isn't Kelly's fault. She did nothing wrong. Nobody's in the wrong. Whenever talking to Brandon Brown, they were just doing their job. Like, I don't really know what went on with like NBCSN. I know it was a stressful thing to deal with because you, it's Alabama. Like, you know how NASCAR fans are. The, the bad NASCAR fans. They didn't want to deal with that either. They tried to like... Make it about Brandon Brown. And I appreciate that Kelly Stavis, NBC. I appreciate the fact that they try to make make it about Brandon Brown. They did their best. At the end of the day, they were just doing their job. But nope. NASCAR fans are ruining everything. Again. They continue to ruin my experience with NASCAR. For the last two years... I've been like watching less NASCAR because of how garbage the company has been. I, I don't. I'm not calling it a sport because they're not trying to be a sport. But I've talked about that. This is that, that. That's a different topic. And lately, the fan base continues to make me watch less NASCAR. What do I mean by that? They're ruining my experience. It is less fun to watch NASCAR. It is so hard to watch NASCAR without dealing with those freaking clowns. They ruined NASCAR. Not 100%, but they still ruined it. And here's the thing. I really don't want to quit watching NASCAR forever. At the same time, it is difficult to just quit NASCAR for good. The past two years, I've been trying to... I've been... It went from watching less cup races to um, watching full trucks and Xfinity only to watching NASCAR races I want to watch and not watch the entire season as I used to do. And at this point, I don't know what I'm going to do because... I don't want to quit NASCAR for good, but I don't want to deal with the horrible stuff of the fan base and the company itself. What? I, do, I want, do I have to like watch Daytona Speed Weeks only? Because Daytona Speed Weeks and Daytona 500 
I always, that's my all-time favorite motorsports thing. I love Daytona. I love the Daytona 500. I love Daytona Speed Weeks in February. I love that. <laughs> am I going to... Are those the only NASCAR races? Are, am I going to watch this year? I hope not. But if this keeps up, I might reconsider. I'm so livid. I don't want to like try to repeat myself. I never intend to repeat myself and all that. So why is the title I Stand with Kelly Stavis? Number one, she was doing her job. Number two, she was trying to make a she was trying to make a bad situation less bad. And tried to interview Brandon Brown, who won the Xfinity race at Talladega. And it's another underdog story because, you know, Tay Fogelman won the truck race. That's an underdog moment. So two underdog moments in one day. But Brandon Brown's victory is ruined and overshadowed by the NASCAR fan base yet again. Number three, she did her best. And that's all I ever want from anybody who works in, like, TV and all that. Like, hell, I'm trying to be like a cameraman in the future. I want to be like a cameraman for motorsports in the future. So I will give credit to Kelly and NBC. To, for doing their job, even though it was very difficult to deal with a bunch of fucking rednecks in the stands. I literally feel bad about this. I'm livid, but I feel bad for Kelly because, like, she's, she was just doing her job, yet a bunch of dumbasses are acting like, oh, she's part of a media conspiracy. Oh, you know, like, oh, she's a leftist. Oh, Oh, she, she, she supports Biden and all that. It's awful. I really hate to, the, to do these kind of videos. But I have to because I can't just keep it... Like, I can't just keep it to myself. Like, if I want to, like, give my honest opinions and thoughts about literally everything, I want to. It is ridiculous about what's going on. It is disgusting about what's going on. It's just saddening that the fan base have to be an all-time low. And sadly, they're not going to get better next year either. They'll, they'll never get better. They'll never get better. They won't. Yeah, try to change my mind all you want. Try to tell me, oh, the bad fans are trying to be, are going to be like better next year. No, they won't. They won't. I try to have hopes for NASCAR fans. They're not giving me hope. They're making me like hate the sport. Oh crap, I said the sport. I meant company, sorry. Oh, that's a fail on me, whatever. It's just disgusting. So, Kelly, I stand with you. You're a damn good reporter. And you did the best you can do at Talladega. I feel sorry for Brandon Brown. I feel sorry for Kelly Stavis. I feel sorry for NBC. Dealing with such clownery at a circus. I mean, I knew I, I didn't want to watch Talladega, but... <laughs> like, yep. I guess you can say this is one of the reasons why the fan base. It's just frustrating, man. It's just horrible to deal with. Horrible. And I just want to say one more thing. I don't give a crap who you support. I know I crap down like, oh, like this side, that side, all that. But at the end of the day, I don't care what you believe in in for politics but please do not be toxic about it and you want to know what i learned i learned that if there's anyone that's too deep into politics like they're into politics so much they're so obsessed with politics it's like when you're in too deep into politics it's like you lost touch in reality if you want an example um, yeah, look at what happened with Kelly Stavis. Look at how they're treating her when she was doing her job as a sports 
and motorsports reporter for NBC. That is all she's trying to do. But no, according to a bunch of fucking idiots, they think... They think they support Democrats or whatever. All that crap. Whatever that bullshit. But that's not the case. She's just doing her job. And if you think Kelly Stavis in NBC... If you think they're, if you think she's part of some media conspiracy, then I, I got some things to say. Fuck you. Leave her alone. You piece of garbages. Bad NASCAR fans like you are the reasons why NASCAR sucks. One of the reasons why NASCAR is ruined. I don't know what else to say. I hope I don't forget anything else after I stop making this video, but I'm just livid. I didn't mean for this to make it long, but I just need to get some stuff out of my chest. That's all. So, yeah. Just whatever you guys do. Please treat each other with respect. And I'm not talking about the comment sections. I'm not talking about social media or the internet. Please, no matter what side you guys are on, please treat each other like human beings. Let's be united. Just say hi to your neighbors. Tell your family you love them. Say hi to neighbors. Say hi to people. Be kind to strangers and all that. It's free. It's not that hard. Let's all be humans again. Let's all be wonderful people. Let's treat each other like family. That is all. It's not difficult. And it's free. <sighs> I wish you can just get along. I wish NASCAR fans were not terrible. I stand with Kelly. Kelly.